hello again today's video footage is a little bit on the short side um, the hay has been out there drying for a few days and <clears throat> it's time to go gather it I guess I should probably start apologizing for my voice uh, we spent the afternoon yesterday out in the field getting the tractor unstuck. Uh, we were successfully able to do so. We got the pickup truck uh, unstuck and we got the um, tractor unstuck. Unfortunately, because the tractor now has a flat tire, uh, we got about halfway out and it got stuck again. And at that point it was dark enough that we needed headlights to see everything. <coughs> So we just decided that it would stay there. Um, the uh, hay shed isn't quite finished, but it's finished enough that we decided to hurry and get this done because uh, I could smell the rain coming. Um, and that's been a kind of a unique thing, I guess. Um, not everybody can smell rain. And I, I remember ever since I, since I was a kid, I, I love the smell of petrichor. Um, it's just, it's such a unique, amazing smell. And uh, I don't always smell it before a rain, but uh, I've learned over the course of my life that when I do smell it, um, it's going to rain. And in Utah, it was, it was pretty quick from from the time I smelled petrichor to the time it rained, it was usually an hour. Um, it's been interesting here in Washington. Um, it seems to take longer for the rain. Um, so, for instance, that's why we came out and, and we were hurrying to try and get all the hay gathered. Is, um, <clears throat> oh, yep, sorry, the camera fell. Um, but uh, the uh, when I would, like I said, when I smelled rain in, in Utah, it, within an hour it would be raining. Um, I don't smell petrichor as often here in Washington, and I and that's probably just because it rains more. Um, but I've, I've, it's, it's kind of odd because when I do smell it, it usually seems to be more like four to six hours, uh, from the time I can smell that until it actually rains. So that's kind of weird, but, um, that's okay. It is what it is. So the uh, the hay is is working out pretty well um, for what we what we want here, or the uh, hay shed. I mean, and you can see we're getting in it to you know pack thing pack it down a little bit. Um, it it got pretty full. Um, it, it was kind of funny because it, it really surprised Emily once we started filling it. Um, that first time I packed it down. It really surprised her how much was actually there. And Emily gets a kick out of hay rides, so I offered to let her, uh, you know, get another hay ride uh, as we took this back up. Um, we did stop here, and when when I use the brush trimmer, um, we tend to not give that hay or grass or weeds to the rabbits because the apparently the the trimmer does so much damage to the stalks even when I end up with long stalks like what we're gathering right now um, it uh, it causes so much damage to the stalk that apparently it can actually result in uh, the the sugars in the in the hay turning to alcohol, and so the, the rabbits don't enjoy it when it's been damaged by the brush trimmer. Um, we learned that a while ago. 
But since this is uh, this has actually been trimmed for uh, you know, over a week, so it's been sitting out for a while. It's it's pretty dry, and alcohol evaporates faster than water, so I figured we might as well gather this hay as well, since that way it'll um, give us as much as possible out of what we've got available. And uh, right here, I was just... I'm, I'm trying to decide... I've, I've come to the conclusion that I think when I get everything done, I'm going to put a spot on here to hang the um, pitchforks. That way they're readily available. Uh, although technically, if, if you want to get official, one is a pitchfork and the other is a manure fork. Um, I didn't know the difference when I bought the manure fork. <coughs> I didn't realize that until I was looking at the receipt. But apparently a pitchfork has uh, four times and a manure fork has five times. And that's literally the only difference. So, um, yeah, it's kind of odd. Um, but anyway, we've got that in and uh, we did beat the rains. Um, we'll, we'll come up here. Uh, that was uh, that was the end of the video footage for the day, and so I'll, uh, I'll come out and, and show you some a couple of photos. The first photo here is is just of the finished hay, um, and that that's a fair amount. I mean that'll that's a uh, probably a three three to four months supply, uh, depending on how many rabbits we have at the time. Um, like, I guess it could be as, if, if we're doing a lot of breeding, then that could be as small as a two month supply. Um, but ideally we want to be able to give rabbits, uh, you know, really big handfuls every day, so that'll be a good thing. Um, and then this next photo is actually of my arm after just this short little, we spent about an hour gathering the the hay, and that was enough time messing around with the with the hay that uh, I already started to show signs of an of an allergic reaction, which was really quite surprising because this was all dry hay, so I didn't think it would cause a problem. But apparently, it's not just the pollen; it's an actual allergy to the to the grass, which is kind of crazy. Um, that's that's why my voice is the way that it is. I wasn't sure I'd be able to do a voiceover today, actually, um, because the we got in from the field last night, and um, I was it was weird because I was fine while we were out there, and then it it it's a delayed reaction. Um, it takes a little while before that shows up, about an hour to an hour and a half. Um, and so we got in from the field last night, and and by the time we actually got to the camper, I couldn't breathe. I was coughing. I was um, you know, running nose, alert. You know, I was breaking out in hives. So I hurried and took three three Benadryl and some Mucinex and. Uh, a regular allergy pill, um, and I've been doped up all day on uh, Mucinex and, and allergy meds. So it'll be it'll be good when we start doing something with this field and we can get rid of this canary grass. It's it's an invasive weed that is definitely a problem for us in multiple ways. But anyway, so. That's where we're at for today. Um, as always, thank you for your time watching. Stay safe and healthy out there. Hopefully you guys have a fantastic day, and God bless you and yours.